Less than 24 hours after the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited adjusted its fuel price from 598 naira to above 800 naira per litre, local findings show that Nigerians are frustrated by the ripple effect of government's decision. The report. The traces of frustration as a result of oil scarcity at mid food prices hike is apparent in Ibadan, the oil state capital. The fuel scarcity has greatly reduced vehicular movements as many fueling stations have shut down operations. Motorists lament high prices on fuel amid uncontrollable queues at some fueling stations within the state. It is very, very unrealistic. It is very, very annoying. Ah, from 180 to 580, then to, uh, to 890 naira. This total filling station is 890 naira. Even with some, you, you can imagine. I cannot plead to federal government, too, but they should do the needful. This is high time for the federal government to do the needful. I will talk to a uh, commander in chief to please search around and get the sabotage that is sabotaging his efforts. It's affecting me. As a farmer, uh, the two products I need, need petrol. And interestingly enough, I have to put the cost, the overhead cost, on those who are processing, the workers. So definitely, yeah, it will skyrocket on the food supply. Some residents of Ibadan said the upcoming stream of Dangote refinery may not make much of a difference because of the threats by external forces. I'm saying it over and over. The first subsidy is only things that this government is giving to the general populace. Removing it is trying the, the public into, into, into problem. There is nothing that anybody or populace is enjoying in this nation than the then this subsidy that they are giving to us. They are making, they are removing it and giving us all this food distribution palliative that they are distributing cannot go, go around. It is only subsidy that can go around. As far as I'm concerned, NMPC is a major distributor of our petroleum. I think they are in best position to regularize, to regulate this free our price of our petrol. They're supposed to be a fixed price. Even if there will be increments, at least let us have a fixed price so that we know that this is the amount we are to pay. Not that every day, every now and then, there will be increase in price. It's becoming unbearable. As full scarcity lingers, Nigerians are calling on the government and relevant stakeholders to take the matter as a matter of urgency and take decisions to cushion the effect on the people.